Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to teach a robot a program synchronized statement. Now, a program synchronized statement allows you to synchronize robot programs. For example, you can synchronize one robot with many robots. And this can be very helpful if you need the robots to wait for one another, move together, and avoid collisions during a simulation. To learn more about this statement, I'll go to the Help tab. Click the Help button, and this opens the Help file. I'll now expand the Reference Guide, expand Robot Statements, and select this topic here called Program Synchronize. And we can see that this statement has three properties. Sync Components, this defines the list of components in the 3D world that the robot will synchronize with in this statement. In most cases, these are other robots in your layout. Sync Message, this defines the message that the robot will send to those sync components. So when the robot executes the statement, it will send this message. Then you have this option here called wait sync. When the robot sends that message, it can either wait to receive that same message from the sync components or execute the next statement in its program. I'll go ahead and give you an example now. I'll exit out of the help file. And in the 3D world, I have two robots. I have an orange robot and a white robot. But you can use whatever robots you want to for this example. I'll now go to the Program tab, use the Jaw command to select the orange robot first, and in the Program Editor panel, I will click this button to add a Program Synchronized Statement. In the Statement Properties panel, I want to synchronize the orange robot with the white robot, so for Sync Components, I'll click the Expand button, then click the Pick Property button here, and I will click the white robot to select it, and add it to my list. I'll now define the Sync message, so I'll say Ready. And in this case, I do want the orange robot to wait to receive that same message from the white robot. I'll now teach the orange robot a point-to-point -point motion down to the floor. So let's add that to its program. And if I reset and run the simulation, nothing happens. That's because the orange robot is still waiting to receive that sync message from the white robot. So to fix that, let's reset, select the white robot, go to the program editor panel, add a program synchronized statement. We're synchronizing the white robot with the orange robot, so on the statement properties panel, I'll expand the sync components property, use the pick property button here to select the orange robot and add it to my list. I'll now define the sync message to be ready, which is the same message that the orange robot sends to the white robot. And if I run the simulation, yep, the orange robot goes down to the floor because it sent a ready message to the white robot and the white robot send that same exact sync message back to the orange robot. But let's see what happens when you send the wrong sync message. Ho ho! I'll reset the simulation. I'm still programming the white robot, so in the statement properties panel, I'll set the sync message to be not ready. If I run the simulation, let's see what happens. Nothing! That's because the orange robot sent a ready message to the white robot, and it's still waiting to get that same exact message back. But this time, the white robot is not sending that ready message, it's sending a different message, and that's why this orange robot is not synchronized with the white robot. So to fix that, you could either change the sync message back to what it was, or you can select the orange robot here, go to the program editor panel, select the sync statement, or the program synchronized statement, and instead of waiting to receive a ready message from the white robot, let's clear the wait sync checkbox here. So now the orange robot will send a sync message and then execute the next statement in its program. Run the simulation, and that's exactly what happens. So the orange robot goes down to the floor. Let's reset the simulation, but now we want both robots to move together. So I'm still programming the orange robot. I'll go back to the statement properties panel and select the wait sync checkbox here. I'll now select the white robot. And then in the program editor panel, I'll select the program synchronized statement. I'll set the sync message to be ready. So it matches up with the sync message sent by the orange robot. And it will wait to receive the message from the orange robot too. And then after the program, I'm sorry, after the robot synchronize, let's move both of them down to the floor. So I'll teach the white robot a point to point motion down to the floor. If I reset and run the simulation, <laughs> So both robots synchronized and moved down to the floor. Alright, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.